in one step, in one minute, from one foot. What's going on guys, I'm Josh, we're in New York City and today we're doing a social experiment to turn street photography on its head. Now, typically people might never talk to their subjects who they photograph, the subjects never actually get to see the photo and it can be an invasive experience for the people that have their photos taken. So we're gonna do the exact opposite of all of those things. I have got my Polaroid camera here, so we're gonna take people's photos, hand them the print and have a conversation with them if they're willing to hear what they thought about the experience, how they felt when a stranger took their photo and hopefully it'll be long enough for us to actually get to see what the photo turns into once it develops, or maybe you'll just have to hand it to them and no one will ever get to see the photo except for them. Who knows, it'll be an interesting project. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, you're okay. Actually, I thought you looked really cool oh, in front of it. So do you want nice. this image? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, hey, do me a favor. So it's going to take a few minutes to develop. Uh -huh. Do you have a second to chat? <laughs> We're doing a little project about street photography uh -huh. and sort of studying how people feel having their photos taken unsuspectedly. Right. Um, first of all, you might want to hide this. It develops best if it's in the dark. Got it. What was your reaction when I took the I photo? I don't like my photo taken, which is why I looked in your direction. <laughs> so it was out of fear more so than anything? Uh, not being comfortable with someone having my image, I suppose. Mm. So what I love about taking mm -hmm. candid photos of people is that I think they look their best. Like, better than you'll ever have your photo taken deliberately. Right. Um, you might look glorious in this. You can <laughs> look horrible. So. Who knows? <laughs> What's crazy about this is I don't know what that photo turned into. It could be horrible. It could be great. And suddenly I feel like the invasiveness of photo taking is now flipped onto me. I feel a little bit naked right now. I feel vulnerable. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving. Excuse me, guys. I just took a photo of you in the reflection. I thought you might want it. Was it weird? How did you feel when I came up to you with a photo of you? We actually didn't know what you were doing. We were like wondering what you taking. That's like a very red taking. target. Uh... Mm -hmm. I'm actually ahead of a, a cool reflection. Oh, and okay. you guys were in the middle of crossing the street with your hands held. I thought it was like a nice, beautiful moment of you two. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to capture that. What's funny about that photo, it was, it was a kind of complex composition with like six different reflections from different angles going on. And it's funny, the idea of handing someone absolutely atrocious photo that doesn't even have them in it, which is what could have happened if I got the reflection wrong. Um, hopefully it turned out good. It could have been very good. No idea. So what were your reactions when I took your photo without really saying anything? I, I just thought it was a part of New York, honestly. Uh, I mean, it was odd. But, it didn't bother me. No, you know, it didn't bother us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. But uh, we just we just came from our wedding yesterday, and mm -hmm. there were cameras everywhere, everywhere. all over. Ah, uh, okay, so, so this is low key in comparison. Like an extension of the, <laughs> Pretty much. We, were, we were desensitized to it uh -huh. today. And, and this is just like the most honest, you know, this is the real capturing of the honeymoon, yeah. not the, you know, the photogenic right. professional photographer. It. It's beautiful. That was like the most perfect interaction. How, how positive was that? I just feel like I have to be very deliberate with each of my photos. And knowing that there's also a huge social encounter that comes along with it, every moment feels high stakes and nerve wracking to take the photo. Uh, Excuse me. Hey, I just took your photo. Would you like it? Cheers, man. So, did you notice me taking your photo? I got a bit surprised with the, with the flash, yeah. <laughs> the flash gives it away for sure. Yeah. And Anton, what, were, what went through your head the moment you saw me take a photo? I was photo? like, he just took a picture of me. <laughs> and I, I didn't think he didn't know that, I just kept walking, like, you know what I mean? So. Would you ever take a photo of someone without their permission? Yeah. Yeah. I would. Just if you catch them in the right light. Nice, like beautiful, Anton. candid moment. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Excuse me. Just took a picture of you. Would you like it? Annie. Hey, Annie. How's it going? Have you ever had your photo taken by a stranger 
yes. Um, actually, mostly my dog versus me. Ah. Uh, people will stop us all the time and ask if they get to take a photo of her. Do you ever see people taking photos of your dog without you asking? Um, or you and your dog? Yeah, I think occasionally, yeah. How do you feel about that? I think in New York it's to be expected. Um, I actually enjoy taking photos if I see uh, different fashions that I like. Um, so I will take unsuspecting photos of people in galleries uh, if there's um, particularly like during September fashion week. Is there any obligation to ask or not really? If there's an inappropriate visual of someone, you know, if they're, um, if someone's kissing or if, there, if there's something that something. is like a, should be a private moment, I think that's where the, you should cross the that you should stop the line. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think integrity is the line. Mm -hmm. So you were very respectful. Just the photo. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, you got a little close. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heather. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to keep this one for myself. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to give this to you guys. You look like really cute right now as a family. Thank you. He's adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Do you mind if I take one more? <laughs> I'm gonna keep one for myself. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you so much. I'm Josh, by the way. A lot of photographers will say the beauty of New York is in the energy and the action and the people. I would have to disagree. This is what it's all about. How's it going, man? Don't post all night. Do you want it? Yeah. You look great. Does it cost free? Nah. Here you go. Are you sure? No, yeah, it's for free. Can I ask you a few questions? We're sure. making a little, we're doing a little social experiment uh -huh. about photographing people unsuspectedly. Yeah, yeah, sure. How did it feel? It's weird. It's unexpected. You might look ugly. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think you look cool, you know. You're being very much yourself. Like, you're not posing for the camera. It's just like an honest photo of you. Hey, man, how's it going? How are you? How are you? I got this photo for you. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Nice to meet you, I'm Josh. Thank you, Ricardo. Ricardo, yeah. take it easy. Oh, you guys might want this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, here you go. Hey, do you want this? I took a photo of you. Oh. <laughs> Have a good one. So I'm just taking these photos, and I'm never going to get to see them. And it's just bizarre to take something that I, I think it might even be a good photo and just be like, psh, never gonna see it again. Throwing it out into the ether. Is that the girl? Hey, how'd the photo turn out? Was it blurry? I'm nervous it's, it's blurry. Kind of blurry. Oh, that's kind of fun. I mean, let's go on the sidewalk. Yeah, sidewalk. sure. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm Josh, by the way. I'm Kira. What's going on, Kira? <laughs> nice to meet you. Have you ever had your photograph taken by a stranger before? Yes, I was actually thinking about this. Yesterday, I was sitting in Washington Square Park and this old man was just like from afar taking pictures of people and I noticed he was like taking a picture of me. And then later he came up and was like, can I take a picture of you? And I said, no, thank you. And then he left. It's weird. Like kind of you have ownership of like your own image. Mm -hmm. and, like someone taking a picture of you is then like taking your image without your permission, which feels weird. By handing you the photo, does that change the encounter at all for you? Yeah, because now I'm excited. Truly, like, oh, I have this picture. I mean, it's, it's kind of it's, funny because I'm like, I... it's such a small part of the picture, but, and now I'm like excited to have it. Very unsuspected, fortuitous moment. The way our paths intersected again. That tends to happen more than you'd expect in New York. Love stuff like that. How's it going, guys? Yeah, I thought you might like this. You guys look pretty cool right now. Beautiful little scene. I have one for you too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want this photo? <laughs> What's going on, man? I like the way you hold your uh, ice cream sandwich. If I didn't say anything to you when I took it and just kept walking, would it feel like a different experience? Definitely. Uh, I would have felt like, why were you taking my picture just to like, you know, use it for your own reason or pleasure without telling me or not giving me it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's it going, man? You want this photo? You want this photo? 
Alright, not happening. <laughs> well, for the personal archives now. <laughs> 30 photos and 5 hours later, I think I've learned a thing or two about street photography. It's been fascinating studying how when you make it more about the subject and less about you, giving them that photo, it's a completely different emotional reaction. And you see the emotional shift from angry, confused, or frustrated to then pretty happy. Almost every single person we photographed was stoked, or some people didn't care, but most people were stoked, and that was very cool. Honestly, I feel like today has been less about shooting photos and more about human connection, and it's been a really fun way to re-experience street photography. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's experiment, and I will see you eventually. <laughs> oh, man. That's how you end a video right there. These things are durable. Thank you.